Hello and welcome to an Envato Tuts Plus tutorial. I'm Adi Pordila and in today's video you'll learn how to start a new blog with WordPress. And basically there are two routes you can use to get there. Uh, route number one is to host your new blog on WordPress.com. This is uh, the easiest uh, way to go because it's totally free uh, it's uh, very easy to use if it, even if you're not very tech savvy, but it's also very limiting. Route number two is to self-host your blog, meaning uh, you do have to pay some money for domain and hosting, and you do need to know a little bit about working with WordPress and admin interfaces. The bright side to this approach is that you're totally free to do whatever you want. So I'm going to walk you through both methods so that you can pick the one that's best for you. So let's start with uh, route number one. As I was saying, the first uh, route you can take is to host your new blog on WordPress.com. This is actually something that a lot of people do in the beginning because it's the easiest approach. Here's how you can uh, get started with this. Go to wordpress.com, hit start your website. You would enter your uh, email address. You would choose a username and then a password and you would hit create your account. And then it's gonna ask you what kind of site are you building? Blog, business, we're gonna choose blog. What kind of topic are you into? I don't know, let's say blogging, right? <laughs> Here you can see a preview of uh, how your blog is gonna look like, even though you can change this later. And then you can hit uh, continue, let's call it test blog, continue. Here you can basically set up uh, the address of your blog. So if you already have a domain, go ahead and click here. Otherwise you can enter um, uh, the name of the, your blog or the address of your blog uh, right here. So I'm just gonna randomly uh, uh, add something here uh, and depending on um, you know what kind of uh, address you want you would you can go with uh, the recommended version you can get a dot com uh, which is eighteen dollars a year or you can choose uh, like this free version right here which is dot uh, data dot blog so let's go ahead and choose that so let's uh, start with a free site and now WordPress is doing all its magic and now you're in the dashboard and you can use this to add content to your site and you have all of these tools here you can grab new themes and customize it you know with the colors and the uh, the css and all that good stuff so this is the basic process that you're going to use to build a blog on wordpress.com but as I was saying in the introduction to this video, you're very limited when you're um, hosting on WordPress.com. First of all, when it comes to themes, you can only choose uh, some of their, um, their free themes. And if you want uh, more than that, you have to pay a monthly price. Plus, you cannot load external themes so themes created by other developers you can do that um, also plugins you cannot install plugins on wordpress.com right they consider that um, you don't need to because their platform has uh, everything you need basically so if you want to install some uh, third-party plugins you can do that on wordpress.com plus you know it's the um, the whole pricing side if we take a look if we go to plans and pricing uh, We can see that WordPress plans start at four dollars. They end up at forty five dollars per, per month And this is billed yearly. So you have to pay uh, The entire amount at once for one year uh, If you want to pay monthly, that's probably a bit more than that so they have four plans and you can see a handy uh, table of um, feature comparisons here so 
let's say that you want to have the ability to install plugins, upload themes. Well, that's only available in the business class, which is a $25 per month fee just to get these two things, which, uh, you know, in the other route, in route number two that I'm going to talk in uh, just a little bit, uh, these are basically free. So I guess hosting on wordpress.com is pretty good if you're just getting started and you don't need very complicated features for uh, your website. If you do, I recommend you go with route number two, which is self-hosted. All right, so with route number two, you basically need two things to get started. You need a domain and you need hosting, right? A domain is the actual address where you're going. For example, tutsplus.com. That's a domain name. Hosting is basically, basically refers to the actual server where um, you will upload your website files. Okay, that's hosting. So you need both of these uh, to get started with the self-hosted method. Once you get those, you would go to wordpress.org. You would hit this little link here called Get WordPress, and you would download the currently available WordPress version. And then you would install that on your website. Now, depending on your hosting plan, you will have access to some tools that will make your life a lot easier uh, for example, most uh, good hosting providers will offer one-click installations for the majority of uh, popular platforms like WordPress, Magento, uh, Joomla, I believe. So they'll have these um, installers in place for you where you can simply go ahead and say, okay, I want to install WordPress. Click just enter some uh, credential information and you're good to go. You'll have WordPress installed in no time. Uh, if you go to wordpress.com and you go to hosting, they'll actually recommend um, three providers here, Bluehost, DreamHost, and SiteGround. I actually use SiteGround and I think it's really great, but feel free to go with whatever web hosting solution you want. For example, in SiteGround, uh, this is my account here, I can go to websites and I can click new website and then I can choose, do I have a domain? I am gonna select existing domain. If I don't have a domain, I can select new domain, right? So I can go through these steps and I can very easily install WordPress. Let me show you how that works on an existing website. All right, so I'm in uh, one of my websites here, adipordo.design. I can go to WordPress, install and manage. See this little box here where it says WordPress? I can hit select and I can install it on an existing domain. I just fill in some uh, info for the admin, like username, email, and password, and I'm good to go. I can also install WordPress plus Wood WooCommerce, which is a plugin for e-commerce. So these are features that you get when you're using one of these, I'm gonna call them premium, but I think it's, uh, it's uh, something that all website or all uh, hosting providers should do, like offer these very simple tools you can use because not everyone is a coder, right? Not everyone knows PHP and uh, MySQL and uh, other things like that to create databases and install WordPress manually. That's for developers, but for more normal users, right? Tools like these are invaluable. Now, the best part about going the self-hosted route is that you have complete freedom over your website. You can install it on any domain you want and you can also customize it in any way you want. Let me show you a quick example using um, a locally installed WordPress website on my computer. If you go to Appearance, you can install any theme you want 
including the ones from uh, third-party resources. So you don't have to just stick with WordPress developed ones. And you can also install plugins anytime you want. And you don't have to pay a monthly fee for this, right? This is uh, the WordPress software downloaded from wordpress.org, right? So from here, and it's totally free to use. The only uh, uh, price you have to pay is hosting and domain, but those are paid like yearly and they don't cost a fortune. So um, for someone that is looking for a better experience, when customizing their website, I recommend you go with the self-hosted version. All right, so let's say you picked um, one of these versions, right? Either on wordpress.com or self-hosted like I showed you here. What do you do next? Well, the next thing to do is add your content, obviously, and then you can pick a theme. And either you can pick one from a store either from WordPress or a third party store, or you can have a developer custom make a theme that's specifically tailored for your content. That's usually the better option, but it's also the more expensive option. Whereas if you go with a pre-made theme, which you can then adapt to your content, uh, you'll, um, you'll be um, better off. It's going to be much cheaper for you. So, to install a theme, it's really simple. Let me just uh, quickly show you that in um, in my local installation here. You just go to Appearance Themes. You can um, see here the already installed themes on your computer, or you can go to Add New. What you see here are themes from the um, original WordPress theme repository, or if you have a different theme, you can upload it from here and it's uh, super simple. If you're looking for websites to get some premium themes, I can recommend uh, themeforest.net. This is part of the Envato market. And as you can see, you have over 40,000 uh, WordPress themes to, uh, to choose from. Or if uh, you're a subscriber to Envato Elements, you also have WordPress themes right here. A little over a thousand themes. And these, if you're already a subscriber, you can download uh, for free. And there you have it, two ways you can start a blog. As I was saying previously, it doesn't really matter which one you choose to get started. What's important is that you get started. If you go with the free version on WordPress.com, you can always migrate uh, your your website to a self-hosted installation. And if you go with the self-hosted one, well, I don't think it's that expensive and it's not that hard to do. There are so many tutorials on the web showing you exactly how to get started. So with uh, under or a little bit over $100 per year, uh, I think you can um, you can get a pretty good deal on a domain, hosting, and you can uh, even fit a theme in there. So definitely something to think about. I hope uh, you found this tutorial useful. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Adi Purdila, and until next time, take care.